My name is Kathy A. And this is my third attempt to film this today. <laughs> I've had the camera turn off. I've had, um, yeah, anyway. Today I'm going to do a collab with some other great ladies from the YouTube uh, Mature Women Beauty uh, Bloggers uh, community. And this is a tag that was made up by Donna of Donna's Mature Life. So thank you, Donna, for inviting me to join in on this tag. There are 10 questions, and I'm looking forward to uh, answering these. And at the very end, I will tag some people. So wait for it. <laughs> Let's dig right in. Number one, how old were you when you started wearing makeup? Um, when I was four and I was taking ballet lessons and tap and baton twirling, my mother used to put that awful dark red lipstick on me. Uh, it had probably had that red dye number two in it too. You know, the one that uh, had, uh, yeah, was bad for you. It's red that was in the M&Ms. But I think when I was 13 is when I started actually wearing makeup. I um, wore clear sill, which was orange dots over my acne because I had really bad acne at 13. And uh, I think I had Cody makeup, which was... Um, it was a bottled Cody. Do you recall the first makeup product you picked out for yourself and purchased, or that was purchased for you? Um, it was probably corn silk, silk powder. I really liked corn silk powder because it covered over the clear cell and it didn't make the dots look so bad. And uh, I used that for many years, actually, corn silk. Uh, powder and I love the ads for it. It made the women always look very natural and doughy and everything. So um, Yeah, corn silk powder and Cody foundation um, Number three eyeliner pencil or lip liner pencil and why? Um, I find that eyeliner um, Pencil isn't really as important because I can use eyeshadow in exchange. In fact, I did that today. I used eyeshadow instead of actual eyeliner pencil. So I would say the lip pencil is going to be the winner here because um, you create a line around your mouth and it keeps the lipstick from bleeding into all those little lines that go out from the edges of your lips. It can really make you look like a hot mess by the end of the day. If you have um, not lined your lips, you're going to find that you get these little lines of color going out from your lipstick. It just looks sloppy. It really looks bad. So lip liner wins that contest. Number four, do you ever go out in public without makeup and why or why not? Um, I think when I was 13 and started wearing lip gloss, I never went back. I always have worn makeup to, to leave the house. And I think, you know, it, it may have a lot to do with esteem or your family or whatever, but um, I never felt um, worthy to go outside without makeup on. So I turned my affliction into YouTube video making now. So <laughs> I've been wearing makeup now for um, 40, 40 years, at least 42 years. So that's a lot of experience, a lot of fads. Okay, um, and you know, um, back in, in the 1960s, there was like this commercial and it stays with me and I was so happy I found one on YouTube. I'm gonna show it to you now, but this is kind of how we were brainwashed back then to think of things was like, you know, well, I'll show you the commercial and check out Susan Day. That was even before the Partridge family she was in that. But yeah, you know, the next boy you meet may be the one. So are you ready? <laughs> so I'm going to wear my makeup when I leave the house. 
Um, number five, if you could have only one shade of lipstick, what would it be and why? And swatch if you wish. Okay, first of all, I do not want to live in a world where there's only one shade of lipstick. So, I got it to three, and I think that that's pretty darn good considering. And if anybody got it to one, it's just going to surprise me. Anyway, for my nude, I like Bites Red Cena. It's a pretty, pretty nude. That's Red Cena from Bite. And for a nice peachy, colorful, this is my Sunset Peach from Wet n Wild. Yep. I really like that. And it's unfortunate that it's Wet n Wild because I hate the packaging for their lipsticks. But I do like it. It has good lasting power and it's very pretty. And the third one, this is Seared Berry from Face Atelier. Sasha, I think is her name. It's a beautiful color and I haven't been able to match it. I thought I had with an Inglot color, but I didn't. It looks purple, but it, it comes out as a pretty kind of pinkish color. I really like this a lot. This is Seared Berry from Face Atelier, which is a Canadian company. You can find it uh, online, but you can't get it locally around here where I live. So three, those three are my one lipstick that I would, yeah. <laughs> um, number six, makeup or skincare and why? Do you think your answer would have been different in your 20s? Um, my answer would not have been different in my 20s. I don't care about skincare. Well, I haven't really cared about skincare. I grew up in a family where my mother had a face cloth or a flannel, as you call them in the UK, and some ivory soap. She scrubbed her face, dried it, and she went to bed. She had great skin till her death in, when she was 72 years old. And I think it's hereditary. I think I got crummy skin from my father, actually. And I went out and I did terrible things. I had sunburns and sun tanning beds and um, I slept in makeup, you know, when you pass out at somebody's house. It was the 80s. It was the 80s. <laughs> you know. <laughs> there I was not wanting to take my makeup off if I had a hot date or something, you know. So, um, yeah, I did crummy things and my skin was clogged and dry. And now that I'm older, I had hormonal changes and all that junk, you know, menopause and all that. So my skin's pretty different now. But I still have to say that makeup can hide a lot of ills. And skincare is great because it makes your makeup look better on, but I still think makeup's going to win this war because um, it can hide things and enhance things, and skincare can. So, okay. Um, number seven, what makeup trend did you do when you were younger that you absolutely would not do now, and why? Insert picture if you wish. Great. Okay, no makeup. That was a look with, or just lip gloss. I used to just leave the house with lip gloss on. I could never do that again, never. Could never do that. And in the 80s, I went through this like Robert Smith and Depeche Mode kind of goth phase, Bauhaus, you know, Susie and the Banshees. I could never wear that again. <laughs> Okay, um, number eight, what is the number one makeup tip you would give to mature women as a general rule to help them look younger? Number one skincare tip to help them look younger. First of all, um, I don't try to look younger and I don't think looking younger is a goal for anybody. I think you should try to look better, try to look healthier, try to look radiant and just embrace who you are and where you are at this point because I mean, not to be cheesy about this, but not everybody is given the honor of aging. And I'm really happy. This is 57. I'm going to be 58 in a few months, and this is what it looks like. And I'm just going to make the best of it I can. I'm not going to try to look like a 30-year-old because I'm not going to look like 30. I don't think younger is a goal. I think better, radiant, healthier is. So, sorry, I probably just insulted the question. Um, so the tip I would give to, to women who are in my age group or older 
who are, are looking to look better is throw out your black eyeliner, okay? Just throw it out. Don't even use it. If you are a medium to light skinned person, you should not be wearing black eyeliner all around your eyes. It makes you look like Tammy Faye Baker or um, it makes you look like Joan Jett. It just does not look right. It, it makes your eyes look smaller. It makes you look harsh. It makes you look older. Not younger, but older. And it's one of those things that we did in the in the 70s and 80s. We used eyeliner like that, and it looked great because we were like you know 25 to 35 years old back then, and and it looked fine. Um, if you're a person with darker skin, you know it's a different story. But if you're a medium to light skinned person, you shouldn't be wearing black eyeliner after the age of like 40. It really looks severe and harsh. Um, and the other one I would say is really, really dark Corella DeVille lipstick. Um, it really can make you look older and harsh. Um, it's a hard look. It's really awful. I think you should go lighter and brighter. I think lighter and brighter lipsticks are, are the way to go. So that's my advice. You can take it or leave it and you can swear at me. I got all kinds of crap last time I said anything about beauty stuff, but we're not going to talk about that. that that which we shall not discuss ever <laughs> like what is that movie called the village that which we shall not be mentioned or whatever it was <laughs> okay um and skincare um advice you know what i would say about skincare advice is find a good system for what condition your skin is in now to to improve it so if you have oily skin, if you have dry skin, if you have wrinkles, if you have whatever it is that you're trying to control, try to get yourself a good um, program and stick with it. I, you know, I found like the Cogendo stuff. I really like like the face wash and the gommage and I have a moisturizer and, you know, moisturizing lotion. I think that's working for me really well. So I would suggest highly that you try to find something that works for your skin and work on it. I don't think we should ignore our skin care at this age. I think that this is when we really have to pay attention to it. We could slide by through our 20s, 30s, 40s, but now we're in our 50s. I don't think we can slide by so much anymore. So just pay attention to your skin care. That's my advice. Um, number nine, which celebrity wore your favorite beauty look when you were in your 20s? And which celebrity's makeup look do you admire now? Oh. Uh, when I was in my 20s, I loved all the girls that were in the videos in MTV and in the magazines. I especially liked Christy Brinkley. I thought she and I had similar coloring, we had similar face shape, and I thought she was beautiful. And as for now, I still like looking at different women's makeup um, uh, slightly differently, like Michelle Pfeiffer. And, Christy Brinkley again. I still admire how wonderful she looks and I don't really look at celebrities for advice on fashion or makeup. So that's how that goes. Uh, number 10. If you were stranded on Gilligan's Island and could only have three makeup products, what would they be and why? And what three skincare items would you choose? First of all, whenever I hear Gilligan's Island. I think about that song. They were on a three-hour tour and it just amazes me like Ginger and, and the Thurston Howells. They had luggage. It was a three-hour tour. I mean it was like me taking a day trip up to Vermont or something. I'm not gonna pack luggage to go on a three-hour trip. Anyway, um, that's a continuity thing. I drive people crazy with that. Okay, so the three skincare items I would have, I would have a lip balm of some sort, I would have a face scrub, and I would have an all-over moisturizer like this. I would also, I guess it would have a, like a SPF, but I don't want to give up those other three things, so SPF was kind of the fourth the honorable mention. <laughs> For makeup, um... Mascara, because you can use mascara as an eyeliner. Oh, there's that black eyeliner I love so much. <laughs> 
So you've got mascara, it can be an eyeliner or a mascara. Um, I think a contour um, blush or a crease color like this one from Jane, which is called Willow. You could use it as a contour and you can use it as a crease eyeshadow. And a nice pretty lipstick like this Wet n Wild. You could use it as a lipstick or you can smear it out and use it as a blush. I think that those three items would be my three makeup items because they're versatile enough to be kind of duo purpose. So these are my three um, makeup items. So I'm going to show you a list of the people I am tagging. Thank you Donna so much for inviting me into this uh, tag collab and I hope all of you will now join me in looking at everybody else's version of this particular questionnaire and I hope everybody's having a wonderful week and have a beautiful day. Take care. Toodles.